In today's video, I am going to show you how to unlock and get yourself every single legendary weapon in Dead Island 2. There's a total of 8 of them, I'm going to show you which quest you have to complete, I'll show you how to complete them, I will show you what makes each weapon unique and how it works in game. The first legendary weapon is a set of upgraded brass knuckles called the Party Starter. Very powerful, they have a nice status effect once they are used as well. You can start up this quest the second you gain access to Ocean Avenue. Start up by going to the hotel. This is where you're going to pick up the quest. Once you're inside from the safe spot, you'll simply want to follow the exact path that I take across this crossway. You will then want to go down the stairs and there is going to be a washroom with a person inside it. It's going to be a walker zombie on the ground just feeding, you'll want to kill it off and on the ground you will see an item, you'll want to pick that up and the quest Drunk and Disorderly will be started. Next you will want to fast travel to Venice Beach, you'll want to make your way over to this exact location near Rose's Tattoos. Push the button switch to open up the door and there is going to be an item right on the ground in this location. While still being on Venice Beach, make your way over to this next location, there is going to be a store, go directly to the back parking lot behind it. Once you're at the back, a bunch of zombies will start coming after you, there is going to be one in specific with the name Cole. Once you kill off Cole, he is going to drop an item, you'll want to pick that item up. You'll want to make your way over to the Santa Monica Pier, you can fast travel here. Once you're at this location, there is going to be a grill. Once you're at the grill, directly beside the wall, there is going to be a table with an item on it. Go ahead and pick it up, and it is now going to tell you to find Jordan somewhere on the pier and kill him. He should be right next to the pier, you shouldn't have an issue finding him, he will start breathing fire. Once you kill him off, he is going to drop another item, and this is going to let you start the final step to pick up the weapon. Next, simply make your way back to the hotel that we started at. Once you're there, follow the exact path that I take. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit to save some time, but you should have no issues navigating to this location. Once you get to the parking lot, there is going to be a white SUV, go directly behind it, open up the trunk, and the first legendary weapon will drop for you, the party starter. Here's just a quick item description, you can see exactly which perks and mods are on this weapon once you pick it up. Now, for the next weapon, I believe this is the most powerful one in the game, it is an AK-47 looking like weapon called the Body Count. To unlock this quest and gain access to it, you will have to complete a couple quests on Venice Beach with Rodriguez in the tower. I only had to complete the mission cremains of the day in order for this to unlock. Once you got that finished, make your way over to this exact location on the beach, there is going to be a tent, and inside there is going to be Lieutenant Ford feeding on a zombie, go ahead and kill him. Once you kill him, he's going to drop an item called Redacted. Once you pick it up, the mission New Lost and Found quest will begin. This mission is actually incredibly short, so it's definitely worth doing. Once you got that done, make your way back over to the tower house to this exact location. There is going to be a couple containers. Make your way inside this area. There will be a few zombies around. You'll want to kill them all off, and there is one that you're looking for in particular. You will not miss it. The zombie that you are really after is called Private Delgado. There is going to be a crusher. Just eliminate all of them, and once you kill Private Delgado, he is going to drop Supply Case Key. Once you got that, make your way inside the shipping container just in front of you. There is going to be a couple boxes. Smash them up, and there is going to be a case on the left side. Go ahead, interact with it. It will unlock and give you the weapon. This is an extremely powerful rifle, I believe it is the most powerful in the game, and here are just the stats with the perks and the mods. Time for legendary weapon number 3, this is a fast and agile knife called the Blood Rage, very fast, delivers a lot of damage and fun to use. To get this one started, you'll want to fast travel to the pier, now you'll have to complete the main storyline, if not, get very close to the end of it, and there is going to be a crusher that spawns named Dante. Once you kill Dante, he is going to drop a file, you'll then want to go ahead and pick it up, it's a letter, this is going to start the quest. From the same exact location, simply turn around, there is going to be a locker in this left corner, go ahead and open it up and you're going to get the next item for the progression. Now, make your way over to this specific spot on the pier just near the ferris wheel, there is going to be a bunch of zombies, you will have to eliminate them all, there is going to be a bench with the item on it, go ahead and pick it up. The next step, make your way over to this location, it is just a little bit north of where we were, there is going to be a little area where you can go and there will be an item on the ground. Go ahead and pick it up and we are now on the final step. For the final step, make your way back to the same building that we started this quest at. Just beside it there is going to be a little passageway outside where there is going to be a safe in the ground. Go up to it, interact with it and it will start unlocking. Once you've fully interacted with it, a horde of zombies will start spawning, you'll have to kill off every single one of them. Once you've got that done, make your way back to the safe, unlock it one more time, and there is your weapon. And just like usual, here are the detailed stats for this weapon, you can try it out for yourselves. Time for number 4, this is probably my favorite not only performance wise but aesthetically as well, this is called the Krakatoa and it's basically an upgraded axe. 
To start this one up, make your way over to the hotel in Ocean Avenue and you will have to complete a bunch of missing persons quests before you get missing Steve. If it doesn't pop up, simply continue doing these missions until you get the Steve one. Next, fast travel to Monarch Studios once you've got the quest picked up and you'll want to make your way over into this set. Simply follow the guides on the screen and it'll take you to this exact location. Once you're there, look at the bed and there is going to be Steve's to-do list. Next, you'll have to go into the kitchen set and simply inspect to 100%, go to the exact spots that I'm going to and you'll find the items without any issues. Once you've inspected the final item, it will then ask you to go inside Jimmy's trailer. Once you're there, you'll want to open up the door, you will see a zombie on the ground with an item. You'll want to kill off the zombie Sergio, pick up the item on the ground. Once you got this, you'll have to travel quite a distance, just follow the guides on the screen once you get to Beverly Hills and you'll want to interact with Steve on his balcony. You will have to lure a bunch of zombies, three in total, over to him, make sure they are alive and you don't kill them off. You'll simply want to go up to them so that they track you, lead them back to the balcony where Steve's at and he will get you to kill them right in front of him. You'll have to do this three times for three different zombies. Once you fully finish it, you'll then want to talk to Steve and he is going to give you the Krakatoa, the fourth legendary weapon on the list. The next legendary weapon is a juicy pistol that explodes every time you shoot it, very powerful, has a nice area of effect attack where you can take down multiple zombies at once. To pick this quest up you'll want to make your way over back to Emma's mansion in Bel Air, you'll want to talk to Luciana which is sitting on the couch on her laptop. She is going to give you a side quest called It's Not Your Fault. You will then have to make your way down into the sewers and the game will guide you to the locations of the seismometers. There is going to be four in total. For some reason my gameplay didn't record the first location but it will guide you to it. The second one you'll be able to find the keys just beside this dead body. Next you'll simply want to progress further into the tunnel until you find the red seismometer box. You'll want to open it up and that is the second one. For the third one you'll want to progress until you find these meat slurries on the ground, the game will guide you towards the location so don't worry if you have a hard time. There is going to be one of these meat slurries that you'll search in specific, it is going to give you the keys, you will then want to go to the box to unlock the seismometer data. Simply make your way up these stairs, there is going to be a couple zombies inside here, kill them off, open up the seismometer and there is just one more to go. Once you get to this final location, it is going to be gory, it is going to be dark, there is going to be one zombie with a vest on it. You'll want to kill this zombie and the zombie will drop the keys for the final box. Once you pick up the keys, there is going to be the box just beside in the same exact location. You'll want to go up to it, open it up and that is all the seismometer is complete. You will now have to battle your way through a horde of zombies until they are all finished. Once you got that done, make your way back to Emma's mansion in Bel Air. Go up to Luciana one more time, chat with her, the quest will finish and she will give you the big shot pistol. This one's very fun to use and it's extremely powerful, especially at some decent distance. The next legendary weapon on the list is a sword called the One. You'll be able to start this quest as long as you have finished the side quest, the Terror of Sound Stage 7. To start this quest you'll have to talk to Sebastian which is sitting in Hollywood Boulevard inside the anti-aging clinic. Once you talk to him the quest will begin. The quest is called Beacon of Hope and the game will guide you through pretty much all of it. Once you get to this location you will have to kill a bunch of zombies, kill them all and that objective will be complete. Next you will have to head down into the metro, there is something that we are searching for. There is going to be this room, it is going to be locked with an electromagnetic lock. If you look up you will see a bunch of cables coming out of it, you will have to go towards the end of every single cable and break down the boxes. For this one that's up high on the wall you'll simply want to throw your weapon at it, it is going to break. For this one it is just at eye level, you can smash it up and for the third and final one inside you will have to break it with any kind of ranged weapon. Once you're inside this room there is going to be a crate, you'll want to open up the crate by simply smashing it with any weapon and inside you will find the spotlight that you are after. Once you got that done, make your way back to the first location where you met up with Sarah, it is going to ask you to kill a bunch of zombies one more time. Once you killed off all of the zombies for the second time, go up to the spotlight, interact with it and you will now be able to talk with Sarah. Once you finish this, she will tell you you have to go back to Sebastian. Go back right inside the anti-aging clinic, speak with Sebastian, the quest will now be completed and you will be given the weapon the one. Definitely a very powerful weapon, but out of all of the legendaries, it would probably have to fall near the bottom of the list. Next up we got a pretty deadly machete called the Brutalizer. This is the strongest machete in the game and in order to access this questline you will have to complete the storyline quest, the Giant Slayer. Once you've got that complete, make your way over to this exact location in Beverly Hills. You will have to talk to Francesca and she is going to give you the start of the quest. For this quest you are going to have to gather different body parts from different zombies. I'll show you exactly how to track which zombies drop what. 
There is going to be a bulletin board on the left side, you'll want to pick up the notes on it and it is going to tell you which body parts you have to find. If you pull out your minimap, there is going to be certain markers which show you where special zombies are located. You'll have to go to these specific markers to find the zombies that you need for the parts. If you're not sure which zombies drop what parts, you can go into your collectibles, you can go into your zompedia, you can click the right bumper to go to the next tab where it shows the apex variants, and you'll then be able to pull up the details of every single one of these and it will show you exactly what they drop. You can then go to these exact locations that you find on the map, you can either reload your save or you can fast travel to a different destination and come back and the zombies will spawn. It might take you a little while to farm them but once you find them simply head back to Francesca's, drop off the parts into the bucket that she has there and it will allow you to progress to the next step. Once you've finished all of the tasks that she gives you, she will not be inside her garage anymore, she will be in her backyard. You will want to go back to her, speak with her and she will give you the brutalizer. I gotta say that this one is pretty powerful, not necessarily super fun to use, but it does deal massive amounts of damage. For the final weapon, you don't necessarily have to do anything specific, all you have to do is fully complete the main storyline. Once you complete the last mission, you will be given the hammer from Sam B. This weapon is called Emma's Wrath, very powerful hammer, does a lot of damage and it's fun to use. The hammer has a pretty sweet effect, if you block a zombie's attack and you perform a counter attack, it will prime the hammer, you'll see a bunch of sparks on it once you kill off the zombie, and whichever zombie you swing at next, it is going to perform a massive explosion. That is it for the video, if you have any questions or you're having some complications getting any of these weapons, please leave me a comment, I'll do my best to answer and help you out. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.